Hello, I'm Queen, and this is One and Two TV. We confirmed earlier that our reporter and her cameraman was attacked by these talks. It is so sad to see press men and women targeted in this riot. We truly hope that the government does something about this. Oh my God, are you okay? Come, come, come sit, come sit. What's, what happened? What is this? Oh my God. What really happened? I'm fine. No, you're not fine, Amanda. You're not. What happened? Well, I was just covering the protest and all of a sudden some group of guys came in and attacked my cameraman. Jesus. The camera fell on the floor. I was just screaming at them to stop hitting him. Then someone from nowhere slapped me and tore oh my clothes. Oh my God. Are you okay? Hope you're not hot. Sis, I'm fine. This is not going to stop me from going out tomorrow. Huh. God. So how did you get out of there? Thankfully that producer was around. So she alerted the military people parade in that area. That is how we were rescued. Huh. Thank God. Yeah. Let me get something to drink. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. But hope they caught those those fools. Hope they caught and arrested all of them. They caught about three of three of the guys out of seven or eight. Uh -uh. It's fair enough, but they should have caught all of them and punished them accordingly. Hope you're okay. I'm fine. I don't <sighs> want to think about it. It was so horrible. Can imagine. Sort of. Your producers, have they reached out? Are they fine? Well, they've been calling me. I think they reported the attack on our channel this evening. They reported it not like a few minutes ago. Again, oh. I've been stuck on this channel, on this TV. Since I made that call, I've been worried. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't take your call. I was busy. I just had to test you. It's okay. I, I totally understand everything. It's fine. I'm okay. It's, it's not it's not fine, Amanda. You you you, don't, you understand. Sis, I'm okay. Well, it's good to have you back home. Like I'm seeing you now. I'm happy. In one piece. Uh, come, come on, you need to go clean up. Drink up the water. You need it. Finish everything. Uh we have some quick go clean up. So sorry. Thank God you're I'm back okay, home safe. Sis. I know, I know. At least you're back home. I can see you. Ah, what kind of good lungs are that? What, what are we training in this country? These memories, they blow the present. Sometimes it's way up in my head, and it's so hard to. Why are you still like this? How should I be? I save you mourning the dead. I'm not mourning. So what is this you're doing? Look, I'm just, I'm just unhappy that I, 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 I'm not getting any first-hand information. Oh, come on, my dear. You can't get that better. The evening news has confirmed to us that everything is fine. It's not enough for me. You know what? I'm really getting tired of telling you to take your mind out of this matter. As if it's that easy. I'm not saying it is, but it's a bit too late for this. And whose fault is that? Hey, hey, you know what? Don't start this your blaming again. Mm -mm. Okay? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not rejecting that I have some blame in this. But don't stand there acting all righteous like it's not you that, that, that put us into this situation. Matilda was still talking. I'm done talking. Matilda! I'm out. Matilda!
been calling you. Babe. Babe. Are you okay? I'm fine. No, no, no. Like any injuries? No, just torn clothes. Are you sure? Me. Are you okay? I'm okay. Come here. Shadows, hollows and cracks, hollows and cracks. Hey. Good morning, Roberts. Uh, good morning. How are you? I'm very well, and you? Very well. Can you imagine those stags attacking Amanda? I know, right? It's crazy. 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 It's not hot. Why are they not giving you an off day at work, babe? Because of torn clothes. Why are you downplaying this, babe? You see why I didn't want you to come? So what's wrong now? You're being so unnecessarily emotional. Look, I just need to finish getting ready, okay? But babe, what? come on, babe. I'll see babe. you later, please. I'm sorry about that. She's been really edgy since yesterday. But I promise I'll, I'll talk to her. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's Amanda. I would, um, I'll call her later. Okay. Probably when she's settled. That's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get going. All right. All right. Later. Yeah, later. Thank you. Right. Please, please do talk to I will. Me. I'll do that right away. These memories, they blow the present. Sometimes it's way up in my head, and it's so hard to forget. And this won't keep haunting me down. What was that? What was what? He came all the way to check on you because he cares for you. But I told him I was fine. I expect him to sit back and take it just like that, like you don't know who he is. Val, please. There is a certain kind of mindset I would love to go to work with. I don't want to talk about this. You keep doing this thing. What you did out there wasn't nice. You keep defending him. Because he's a good person. He treats you right and that makes me comfortable. Can I please finish getting ready? You need to go apologize to him. I did nothing. You were not nice. Val, please, I just want to finish and go to work. Finish up, go to his house and apologize. Oh, because you think I have that kind of time? You can call him if you don't want to go there. Stop, stop being insensitive. Yes, sweetheart. Where is mom? She has not yet returned. How come? I don't have a clue myself. She left home since morning. Her number is not reachable. Did you call? Yes. Oh, come on, my dear, come. Come on, stop worrying your little pretty head, okay? She's going to be home soon. Oh, I told you. Mom? Mom? How are you? Hi, I was worried about you. I'm so sorry, dear. I had to follow up on a few things. Hmm? Why don't you go and check on the chef and see if dinner is ready? Okay, Mom.
Matilda, where are you truly coming from? I was following up on my business. Which one? The one which shouldn't concern you. Oh, that's okay. Do what you must. We need to talk. Oh, God. Look at you. You see why I told you you need to talk to Rob? He'll add to your happiness. I don't want to. So you prefer to be like this? Crying from time to time, hurting yourself. I'll be fine. Oh, yeah. I know you. Okay, come, let's go see a movie. That could cheer you up. No, I don't want to. Okay, that's fine. Please leave my room. I will. When you stop crying, leave. I will. Hey, darling. Hey. You're welcome. You're looking dapper as <laughs> usual. Look at you. Hmm? Huh? When are we leaving? Very soon. Okay? <sighs> what? How soon? Mm, two, three hours soon. What? Babe, <clears throat> our lunch return to dinner. I promise I'll be fast. I'll be fast before you know it. Okay, sit uh. while I get you something very cold <clears throat> to drink while you wait. Okay? Bribery and corruption. No, babe, it's, it's not bribery. Okay, maybe a tiny bit of bribery. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, hurry up. She wasn't supposed to tell you. Yes, Mom. I know I... Mom, I just got to her place now. Yes. Really? Yeah, she's staring at me right now. Hello? Hello, Ma. G good afternoon. Yes, Ma. Yes, yeah, yeah, very well, Ma. Thank you, Ma. It, it was nice talking to you. Hello, Mom? Uh, uh, Mom, I'm not sure she, she, she knew you were still talking. No, the, the thing is, Mom, we were planning to go on a date. Yeah, so she, she's rushing to dress up. That's it. 
Okay. You know what? I'll call you. I'll call you, Mom. I'll call you back. Okay. What's the meaning of that? Meaning of what? Why would you end your conversation with my mom? Why would you do a thing like that? A thing like what? My mom was still trying to talk to you and you ran away from the call. Really? Really? Did you not hear that she was still trying to talk to you? Babe, I thought it was just a simple greeting. What? What? For the first time, you're trying to talk to my mom. And you ended the conversation in two seconds. Can you not make a big deal out of this? It's nothing. If I knew your mom wanted to talk to me longer, I would have talked to her. Okay, call her back. Call her back. For what? So I can talk to her as long as you want. V, you know that is not the point I'm trying to make here. And I am trying to tell you that if I knew your mom wanted to talk to me over the phone longer, I would have spoken to her. Fine. I'll be waiting for you in the car. Why why don't you wait in the sitting room? I am I'm getting ready. I'll be fast. I'll leave whatever I wanted to do when to like get back. Knowing that I'm in the car waiting for you will, will make you hurry up. So I'm, please hurry up. I'm hungry. Yeah, hello. Hello, big bro. Alpha. I just spoke with mom. Yeah, why did you tell her about V? How long am I supposed to keep the secret? You guys have been dating now for over a year. Yeah, but you know how mom is. Now you've told her she's going to keep asking me how my relationship is going. I know. I'm sorry. It was a skip up. I was not planning to tell her. She told me. Valerie. Yeah, she did. What's going on? I don't understand. What do you mean, what is going on? Mom said that she barely said two words to her before handing the phone over to you. Well, well that's because she, she didn't know Mom was still talking. That was not how Mom interprets it. She said Valerie was rushing through the conversation. Let me call you back, okay? I'll call you back later, sis. <laughs> It was pure devastation in most of these streets. But right now, we are beginning to see some level of calmness. Shadows, hollows and cracks, hollows and cracks. The battered mall happens to be one of the biggest malls in this area, but it has been broken into and looted. I remain your favorite girl, Amanda, from 1 and 2 TV. Thank Sometimes you. it's way up in my head And it's so hard to forget When these wounds keep haunting me down Mom! 
Mom! Mom! Mom! Sweetheart. I have been calling you. Watch less of this TV. Or watch less of channel. I am not saying that you can ban from watching TV. I was only trying to help. Help me how? I am just watching a news report. <laughs> but we both knew you are doing more than that. Then allow me, since this is all I can get. That's okay. The food is gonna get cold. Hey. Hey, I didn't know you were coming. Uh, sorry, I didn't call you before coming. It's, it's 10 p.m. It's late. Why are you coming late? I've been covering different areas of the city, following the damages from the riots. Can we talk? See, honestly, I am not happy about the coldness and distance that is growing between us. I'm tired. Please, just give me some time, okay? I've been here since 6 p.m. You should have called before coming. I don't used to call you before coming here. So when I'm calling you, become an issue. I'm not making it an issue. I am not saying you are, okay? All I'm saying is that calling you I had before coming here makes me feel like a stranger. And I'm not a stranger. You and I know that. I know your routine, you know mine. Okay, so me calling you make, makes it feel some way. Robert, I am tired. I need to rest. I do not have the strength for this. Something is happening between us. We used to be excited and happy about each other. And then we lost it. I'm trying to find it. But it looks like I'm the only one worried about it. I need to rest. My whole body is aching. Good night. It's cold. Hello? Yeah, I'm just getting home now. The camera guy? Oh, you know what? Let's call uh, Yusuf's phone is switched off, so we'll just call Dotun instead. What? And why are they calling you by this time? Oh my god! Yes, I was born ready for this. <laughs> okay, fine. I promise I won't tell anyone. Please, when you get more info, okay? I'm waiting. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> My producer. <laughs> so, one of the presenters is resigning, so they will need a replacement. <laughs> Why? <sighs> well, she got married and she's relocating abroad with her husband. Hmm. Which of them? Stacy. Oh, wow. I really like that one. Aww. Yeah. So they are calling your producer for you? Yes, they called my producer. 
and she recommended me. Hmm. But I, I don't know if they've called other producers. Oh, come on. I told you you're the best reporter ever. In fact, you're the most passionate reporter I've ever seen. You're so passionate about mm -hmm. what you do. What was I expecting you to say? Wait, you think I'm whining you? This is, I'm spreading <laughs> facts. Look at you. Thank you make you. sure you, in fact, you insist you get all sides of the story. Look at where you're coming back from work. Like, it's late, but you're, you're doing it. Yeah. And I was feeling so bad for Rob. He waited for so long, for hours. He should have called me. Come on, you know that's not a good thing to say. But he knows how busy I can get. But that doesn't mean he can't walk in anytime he likes to check on his girls. Now look at you, you're feeling sad because he, I kept him waiting. If he keeps coming in without letting me know, he's just going to keep waiting. Why are you sounding like this though? Like how? So disconnected. This is a guy you loved so much. Like you want to marry him like now, now. What happened? What's going on? Not until he started saying things he shouldn't be saying. Things like what? Sis, please, I'm tired, okay? I just want to go and refresh and go to bed. Okay. I have a lot of work tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. I'll okay. come back though. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Good morning, sis. Good morning. That's your food. Thank you so much. I won't eat much, just me too. Why are you standing and eating? Go to the living room. Sis, I don't have time to relax, please. Still no excuse to stand and eat. Mm. Is that not your phone ringing? Mm. Sure, but I don't want to talk to him. I'll, I'll see you later, okay? I'm done. Thank Is you. that calling you? Thank you. I don't want to talk. As you can see, this particular neighborhood has finally returned to normalcy. Three streets away is where the famous shopping mall was being broken into and looted three days ago. So we are hoping that as we walk down the streets, the whole environment will be calm. Even though there was a clash between the youths and the police three hours ago, this particular area remained mostly calm. We spoke to one of the person whose uh, shop was uh, damaged due to the riots, and he cried bitterly saying that that was the only source of his livelihood. So we are hoping and praying that the government will listen and do as they promised to do whatever it takes to end the riots. You're only torturing yourself, my dear. And it is affecting everyone in this house, especially my daughter. Huh? I have to confront this. <sighs> my dear, you don't have to. You only need to tell yourself the truth. It is too late. I do not care how late it is. I will find a way. It's okay. I will be here when you get disappointed and return. Has she not picked up yet? She keeps dropping my calls. Till now? Yes. I have been calling her since 10 a.m. Okay? I know that probably she'll be, she's on the morning show or either reporting. At least by now she will see my missed calls and she could have called me afterwards. And she hasn't? No. I even called her this evening on my way here to let her know that I was coming here. Rob, 
What if she's no longer interested in the relationship? What are you talking about? What did I do? It might, it might not be about what you did. Then, what would be the reason? I don't know. You should ask her yourself. You know, I intended asking her if she's seen someone else. Because she doesn't care about my feelings anymore. It might not be about someone else. Then was it? I don't know. I, I want to find out myself. I'll talk to her. And I'll get her to speak with you as soon as possible. Okay, then I, I have texted her and called her enough, so I just... I'll just leave. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Good night. Good night. Wow. Thank you. I wanted to know if you're okay. Because Robert has been here a whole day. He's been trying to reach you. What do you mean you'd have turned back? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just, just come in, okay? Come. Is he gone? Yeah. But I don't... I don't think Amanda still wants this relationship. Uh, <clears throat> Why would you say that? She's at the gates, the estate gates. Okay. And she just said she was going to turn back if Robert was still here. What about you? What do you mean? Do you still want this relationship? And when did this become about us? That's my sister. I need to go talk to her. Hello. How was today? Fine. At least no one tried to beat me up today. Ah, <laughs> that's good to hear. Are you hungry? Very. Because <laughs> you look like you need some food. <laughs> um, like I said earlier over the phone, Rob was here. I heard you. So, did you mean it when you said you were going to turn back if he was still in the house? Yes. Why? Are you sure you still want this relationship? Sis, I don't, I don't know anymore. Why? You, you're seeing someone else? No. You want to be left alone? Yes. Why? Because that's how I feel right now. But you once loved this man. I mean, you were ready to get married to him. I don't feel that way anymore. Right now, I am super tired and very hungry. Let me freshen up. Here. 
can you, I go in? You can and you will. I'll let you. But you need to talk to Rob and stop torturing him. That's the right thing to do. You need to tell him. You're right. Yes, I am. Hi. Hello. Um, look, I'm so sorry I've, I wasn't able to pick up your calls or return it. I've been really busy. Um, look, I'm really tired right now. Can we see tomorrow? Okay, I'll, I'll wait for you. to talk about this awkwardness which is mostly coming from you oh please do not play the blame game <sighs> sit no fine we need a break a break a break from what from us a break like a break up Something like that. Amanda, are you cheating on me? What? No! Then why are you breaking up with me after telling me weeks ago that you want us forever? And encouraging me to start making the forever plans with you? Robert, I am no longer feeling that way anymore. What happened? What happened from then and now? Please, Robert, do not make this hard for me. I'm making this hard for you? So, so wait, so, you know, plan was to ghost me and break up with me. Robert, it's... Amana. You disappointed me. going? I already told you where I'll be going this evening. But I told you to let go of it. Easier said than done. Why are you so obsessed about this? I wish I had gotten this obsessed years ago. I'll be leaving now. This is the time I'll be searching to get an audience. And if no one is there, 
You know, people return back late from work these days. Then I will sit and wait. Oh, it seems my opinion don't count anymore. This has very little to do with you. Ah. Valerie. Val, please, I need to talk to you. What are you doing here? I want to talk to you and Amanda. What for? Please don't be like that. How did you find my address? I, I found out where you worked, so I followed you from there. How did you find out where I work? You need to answer the question. How did you find out where I work? Your grandmother. She wasn't supposed to tell you anything about us. I begged her to tell me. So what else did she tell you? She, she gave me your number and told me the company you work for, so I traced you from there. So you've been stalking me? Just for a few days. Val, please, please, I need to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you! Please, please, I won't take your time, I promise. You have just two minutes. Thank you. Val, sweetheart. Don't call me that. I know you're very angry. And you have every right to be. Shadow, please, hollow, please forgive us. Is that why you're here? Is that what you came for? These memories, they blow the present. with you. Not speaking to both of you has been killing me. Leave this place. I know you're angry. Get out from here! She said she wanted to see us. How did she find out where we live? Grandma. She shouldn't have. So what do we do now? Nothing. She's gonna come back here. She dare not. She dare not. My love, just move on. If you wear my shoes, would you move on? I'm only saying this because of how long it has been. I don't care how long it has been. I need to make things right with them. Don't you think they wonder how on earth you suddenly interested in them? And I will explain. But what happened? I'm not interested in making up any lies about what happened. You and I did this. Hey, babe. I only asked for a condition that was suitable for me at that moment. Oh, is that how you explain it to yourself? Hey, come on, don't make this about me. You agreed to those conditions. I had no choice. Says who? Look, not now. I'm not in the mood for this. Just make sure the narrative you're going with is the truth. You think what I'm interested in right now is getting a narrative that is suitable enough for you? Hi, you don't need to please me. 
Since you're ready to pursue it, just make sure you tell them the truth the moment they're ready to listen to you. Babe, where are you going to? I need to. Matilda. Matilda! Oh, babe. Babe. What are you doing here? I... I want us to talk. Ah, oh, babe, if we talk, I won't be able to get work. I'm, I'm, I don't have time. Please, I promise I'll take you to work, okay? Just, I have this question I needed answer to, okay? It's been bugging me all through the night. All right, please, I need answers to Wait. Hey, aunt. Good morning. Superstar. Hi. You ready to go? Yes. See you guys later. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 How is she and Robert? Is that the question that kept you up all night? No, babe, I... Seeing her reminded me of him. That's just it. Well, she broke up with him. No way. What? I, I mean, I, I know Robert loved her a lot. And I thought she felt the same way. I thought so too. Wow, 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 wow. Maybe I need to go get ready for work. Uh, yeah. About that, um... I wish to get married. What? You have my ring? I just... Babe, were you not the same person that asked me to give you time to fix things? Didn't I choose a date a few months ago? You did. So why are you asking me this? I, I just want to be sure. Look, I want to get married to nobody but you. In fact, I have no doubts in my heart that you are made for me. I want you. I want this marriage. I want to be with you. Okay? That's all I wanted to hear. Yeah, but you should stop overthinking things. Yes, I'm not overthinking anything. I just wanted you to reassure me. Okay. You are. You should get over the fact that I did not talk to your mom over the phone for a long time. Get oh, over it. About that, baby, you're still going to talk to her because she still wants to talk to you. Please. Please. Grandma, look, the point I'm making is that you're not supposed to give her any information about us. It doesn't matter how much she begged you. But Grandma, we discussed this now. We said we don't want to have anything to do with her or talk about our past. Val, she's as angry as I am. Fine, fine, Grandma, sorry. Please stop crying. Eh? Please stop crying, okay? I'll call you later. I'm at work right now. Hmm? Bye, I love you. <sighs> What's up with you? You've been acting funny all morning. I'm not acting funny. I'm okay. What is going on? You've not been yourself all morning. I broke up with Robert. You did what? You broke up the best relationship you've ever had? Don't say that. What do you mean don't say that? Come on Amanda, how long have we known each other? It got hard. <sighs> Robert is the sweetest guy I know. I agree. So why leave? Because I realize that if I have to do this, I have to go all in. I don't understand. Were you not intending to go all in before? I remember you mentioned to me that you wanted to marry this guy. I still want to. So what is the problem? Me. Ah. Uh, 
Anytime you call me like this, then I know that the issue is a serious one. So come on, Amanda, talk to me. What exactly is going on? I still don't want to have kids. Oh, I've told you to stop saying this. Please, can you stop saying it? And I've told you severally that the older I get, the, the, the more sure I am that I do not want kids. And Robert wants a bunch of them? Yes. Does he know? No. Oh, come on, Amanda. How can you break up with a guy without even telling him, without even letting him know what the reasons are? How? How do you expect him to cope? The only time I mentioned me not wanting kids, Robert went ahead and talking about how beautiful family is and kids for a whole week. How do you expect me to tell him? <sighs> so, how, how were you able to break up with him without a reason? Well, just played uninterested and causing quarrels here and there, and that was it. Uh, so, the goal now is to find somebody who is not interested in having kids and settle with the person. Maybe, yes. Uh, this girl. Uh, mm -hmm. I have so much to say. In fact, I feel like I have, but I'm just going to, for now. We need to get back to the station. They want to see you try for the money show. Oh my God! I, wait, wait, wait. Are, are you serious? No, yes, I Why am. Why didn't you say so? Because I wanted to get this exact reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. It'll be nice. <laughs> and we still have to talk about this one. You didn't mention anything about this dinner earlier in the day. Well, I spontaneously thought about seeing my baby girl. Okay. <laughs> You're lucky my boss let me go. You would have spontaneously had this dinner all by yourself. I'm a lucky guy, am I not? <laughs> I mean, look at the girl I'm dating. Oh. You are so beautiful and smart. You're amazing. Babe, stop with the flatter. I'm not flattering you, baby. I mean it. <laughs> I love you. And thank you for loving me. I love you too. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop. That was right, funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need to plan our wedding. Are you sure you're ready for that? No, I'm born ready for this. Okay, we'll, we'll, let's do it next week, Saturday. <laughs> it's only a guy that can plan a wedding in. One week. Okay, fine. Babe, just give me a date, okay? Any date. Not too far. We need time. We need a lot of time. Mm. At least two months. Two months? Is that what you need? Fine, two months. No problem. I'll, I'll make everything you need available. Okay? Two months is fine. Don't look at me like that. Okay, fine. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Yeah. Yes. Yes! Eight weeks. This is good. Eight weeks. So, do I get an open check? Whoa, 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 baby girl, calm down. You don't want us going broke after wedding. <laughs> Besides, my sister said she's going to take care of your wedding gown and the chief bridesmaids. Really? Yes. They're all excited. Excitement everywhere. It's wedding. Although I've not told them anything about it, but now we have eight weeks, I'm telling them. <laughs> okay. I love you, baby. I love you, my V. I love you too. A whole lot. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. To? Forever. To forever. What's going on with you? Nothing. 
Are you okay? I am. I'm just thinking. Thinking about what? I have eight weeks to plan my wedding. What? Oh my God, it's finally happening. Yes, it is. So why are you not excited about it? You yourself told me that he has everything you want. Everything you've prayed for. Yes, it is. Marriage is what stamps forever with him. I know, I'm, I'm aware of that. So why on earth are you not happy? I'll have to deal with expectations from his family. All of that stuff. His mom. All of it. I mean, you don't want that? No, I'm, I'm not ready for that. Well, you're aware that you can't live in isolation. I know, I know. But... Okay, look, enough of me and my marriage pressure. Let's talk about you. So, what's up? I saw you dancing when you came in. What's up? Why didn't you tell me? Because I don't want to talk about me. It's about you now. Tell me what's up. What's the news? I got it! <laughs> oh my god! Come here! Oh my god! Congratulations, sis! Thank you! I told you you are good at what you do. If I get the best at it, you deserve that spot. Yeah. Look at you. Well, you're now a superstar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, when are you starting? Well, four to six weeks. Why not long? Apparently, that is when Stacy is due to leave. She gave them six weeks notice hmm. and luckily for me, my station has me on standby. Hmm. So <laughs> I am so so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank girl. you. <laughs> She's a superstar now. Thank you so much. <laughs> my wife. Oh. Good to, I'm very well. Good to see you. Please sit. You're Thank welcome. You. Good to see you. Thank you. My brother gave me the good news. So, we don't have time. For? Your wedding, of course. Oh. Eight weeks is not a long time. That's very correct. So, tell me, what do you want for your wedding? Like, so we can decide on the looks and feel. Really? Yeah. You look confused. Don't worry, I know you have a lot on your mind. But tell me, what do you want? How do you want to look for your wedding? Um, like a bride. Of course, like a bride. But what does the bride want? The atmosphere? What do you want? Um, should we go romantic? Like a soft hue, dedicated light, calligraphy, chandeliers, or even... A flower wall. Mm, that's, that's that sounds very. Or maybe we should go Bohemia. Elegant with oriental rugs lining the aisles and altar. Mm, with decorated pillows or even a macro decoration. What do you think? Sounds very very unique and interesting. So which are we going for? Why? Why don't we go for both? How about Girl, that? <laughs> you want it all. Yeah. Okay. Mm, don't worry. Okay, let's see how we can merge the two. Hmm. Mm, I think they'll come out well. What type of wedding gown do you want? Um, I'm still thinking. You need to think fast because my brother's bride needs to look breathtaking. His wedding needs to be the talk of the town. Oh. So, let me show you some samples I have on my phone. Oh, wow. Oh. I want that day to be hot. Everything, your makeup, everything needs to look on fleek. I am suddenly so hungry. What, what's going on? Nothing. Nothing. So, why did you get so startled? I was lost in thoughts. What were you thinking about? Says, let's forget about me. So, what's your decision with Belinda? We're still on it. Not done. Do you, do you think Robert is happy? Is that what you were thinking about? Kind of. So, if you're still thinking about him, why don't you go back to him? Sis, if I don't hurt him now, I would definitely hurt him later. 
Then don't hurt him at all. I still don't want kids. Oh my God. Is that the reason you broke up with him? Yes. So why didn't you mention it to me? Have you forgotten what we agreed on before dating? That there will be no talks about not having kids. And if we say it out loud? It will come to pass. Well, whether I say it out loud or not, I can't see myself shifting grounds. I'll get the door. Okay. What are you doing here? Please, can I talk to both of you? We don't want to talk to you or have anything to do with you. Please, please just hear me out. I made a stupid mistake. Your father's death shook me to my very core. I made a drastic decision. A very selfish decision. And a wicked decision. I am so ashamed of it now. Too late. Please. All I want is just a chance to see both of you from time to time. When you wanted nothing to do with us. It was so stupid of me. I think your time is over. You need to leave. Please. I have so many things I need to say to we you. We are not interested. And we will never be. I am your mother! You don't think so. Please, you, you have to leave. Please, just leave. Please. Please leave! Can I just... Please leave! I'm not hungry. Babe! <sighs> Sweetheart, don't worry, okay? Hmm? Your mom will be fine. Hmm? Don't worry, that's it. <laughs> Babe! Okay, what? So I had a dream about you. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And I woke up. You were not there. I wasn't happy. Oh, babe, we have just eight weeks. Eight weeks more. Only. Can we, can we make it fast? No, we can't. We still have a lot of things to put together. Hmm. Hmm. Well, in that case, you will see me here every day. Wait, wait. Is that supposed to be a threat? Hmm? Threat? Hmm. Why would I threaten my wife to be? Okay. My queen. Okay. The mother of my children. Uh, babe, did I say anything wrong? No. No, I mean, babe. No. Because no. your face. Just... Stop, babe. No. Just stop. I'm. I'm good. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. So can your husband get some lunch? Mm? Okay, okay, I can see you enjoy this husband title so much, babe. Who wouldn't? Who is my husband now? Who wouldn't? You? <laughs> oh, babe, 
calling me. Lead, oh, is that the way? No, there's no lunch for you, husband. Oh, is this the lunch? Oh, <laughs> come on. If you can hear me, you can drop the call and call me back because it's a private number and I can call back. Hello? These memories, they blow the press. Hello? Sometimes it's way up in my head and it's so hard to forget when these words keep haunting me down. I'm at the crossroads. I'm at the crossroads. I'm at the crossroads. I'm at the crossroads. Shadows, hollows, and cracks. Hollows and cracks. These memories. They blow the present Sometimes it's way up in my head And it's so hard to forget When these words keep haunting me down I'm at the crossroads I'm at the crossroads I'm at the crossroads I'm at the crossroads. Mommy, why are you sad? I did something I shouldn't have done. What is it? I'll, I'll take my time to explain to you some other time, but um, first I want to apologize for not paying you any attention yesterday. I'm sorry. Hmm? Okay, Mom. Mm, okay, dear. So, let me leave you to go back to bed and get your beauty sleep. But, try to be happy. I'll try. Okay, darling. Good night. Are you okay? Yes. So what's with the attitude? What attitude? You take every given chance to be by yourself. Amanda, what is going on? I just need a moment to think. Uh, can I make use of your phone? I, I don't want to use mine. Please. Fine. Thank you.
Is she not coming? What did she say? That she's not hungry. Had she hit him when I left? <sighs> uh, that's okay, my love. Okay? Come, come. Let's eat. Then. Matilda, leave me alone. Do you want to starve yourself to death? Leave me alone. My love, you are hurting Zen. You just let me be. I am not hungry. Oh, who make you think starving yourself will make your children talk to you? Leave me alone, no. Leave me alone, no! Leave me alone! Hey. Leave me alone! Don't leave me alone! Hey, 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 that's okay, that's okay. Okay? I didn't know Belinda was this loaded. Obviously she is. She wants to pay for everything. Well, yeah. So if you want a more expensive dress, she is going to pay for it. Yes, from the look of things, yeah. yeah. Even Hanks mentioned it to me that she wants to pay for my wedding dress and my chief bridesmaid wedding dress. And she mentioned it herself, meaning wow. she really wants to do this. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Well, as your chief bridesmaid, I'm allowed to wear designers, right? Okay, that's you being mean on purpose. Do you know how much that would cost? Oh, well, she's loaded. Did you call grandma? Yes, I did, and she's coming. Nice. 
I saw one at the door. Hello. Hello. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. You didn't call. I needed to see you in person. <laughs> okay. Um. Please meet my elder sister, Valerie. Meet uh, my producer and friend, May. Hello. Hello, Val. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Same here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hope there is no problem. Yeah, all is well. <sighs> Can sit. Thank you. What, what happened? Who did you call with my phone yesterday? What? Who did you call? That's none of your business. Mm. You called Robert. Did he call you back? Oh, yes, he did. And I'm sure you wanted him to. No, I didn't. He said I called him and, and said nothing. But he could hear voices in the background. Then it occurred to me that you had called someone with my phone. What did you tell him? Mm. Does it matter? It does. Mm -hmm. Well, I told him it was a mistake. Thank you. Amanda, this is not a thank you matter. Why exactly did you call him? Look, I might have broken up with him, but that doesn't mean I have forgotten about him. I still love him. Then tell him the truth. He will make me say more than I should. And what is this thing you don't want him to know? I can't tell you either. This is unfair. This is so unfair. What is unfair? What am I doing? Look, I'm, I'm only doing this because I love him. This is not how to love. This, what you're doing now, that's not love. If you love him, tell him the truth. Let him deal with it if he loves you too. I can't. Look, I can't tell him anything, okay? I'm sure with time I will get over him. Mm. You know what? It's fine. Take care of it, sir. Why was she here? Something between us. Hope is nothing serious. It's fine, it's nothing. Are you sure? Sis, Viz, I just need to be by myself for now. I got this for you. It's fine, thank you. What's that? What are you doing? Nothing. What's that medication for? Um, supplements. Food supplements. For? Well-being. Okay, so why were you hiding it? I wasn't. I saw you. I wasn't. Why are you here? What do you want? I just want to apologize about the way I spoke to you. No, it's okay. I I totally understand and you needed time to be by yourself, just like I do now. Oh, okay.
didn't you? No. Brad took the address from her. Because you think you are the one that can convince us? Hmm. I think I will try. Hmm. Well, you can start by leaving. Look, we are sick and tired of hearing the same story over and over again. We are tired. I was 12, she was 10, and she had abandoned us and dumped us with our grandmother. We came to your house to look for her. You both threw us out. It was a mistake. Do you know what we went through? Do you know what we suffered? Do you know what we had to accept to survive? Do you have an idea? Hmm. Valerie. Amanda. I beg you to, in the name of God, we were wrong. Wicked. Hmm. Wicked. We're going to make it right. Hi, and your mother. I have her own daughter called Zane. She's just 12. Now she's suffering for what we did. You see? The mother is overwhelmed by grief. She no longer has time for her daughter. No parents will be happy for a daughter to be abandoned. Just like you and our mother abandoned us. Yes. So you're here because of your daughter? Hmm. I am here. Pretending as if I have no part in this. It's still... It's still wickedness. Yes, your mother left you two for me. I never told her to abandon her children. I only told her... I was not ready to raise you two. So if she wanted to marry you, she had to do something to us? No. I'm no longer that man. I'm no longer self-centered. Your mother is sorry. And so are we. I think it's time for you to leave. Amanda. Leave! Valerie. Good morning. I couldn't sleep. Zane is 12. The exact age I was when mom took us to stay with grandma. Oh, please don't. Same thing is not about to happen to her. She has a father and also a mother. Still. Still what? She's our sister. That we just heard of. She might be lonely just like we were. Bao, she is not lonely. Remember how happy we were when dad was alive? We were happy. I'm sure she's happy and she doesn't need us in her life. Look, I don't want mom. Oh, she's our sister. She's our blood. I think we need to find out more about her. I saw a picture of her on one of mom's social media handles. Just take a look and see what she looks like. I'm at the crossroads. Sometimes it's way up in mind. And it's so hard to forget. Oh, the won't skip haunting me down. You said there's something important about Anita that I need to know. Yes. Okay, so... What is it? 
Amanda still loves you. She loves me. Yet she broke up with me. Robert, you want a lot of cats. Amanda doesn't. What do you mean? Well, she's barely said her reasons, but I'm just worried that she's actually going to find somebody who doesn't want kids and settle with this person while still in love with you. Somebody has been calling me with a private number. Mm-hmm. She's the one. I knew it. I kind of suspect it. So why are you telling me this? I care about Amanda. I care a whole lot about Amanda. So if you truly love Amanda Roberts, if you truly want this, I suggest you get through to her. And I want my name to be completely left out. I don't want my name to be mentioned in all of this. Hmm? Okay. So, I have to get back to the office. What are you doing here? Can we talk? About? About the fact that I can stop loving you. Stop thinking about you. Robert, we broke up. You broke up? Same thing. Not really. I can't live without you. I love you, Amanda. I heard about a story. About a couple. Who wanted to get married so bad and have children. Eventually they did, and for 10 years, they couldn't have one. And people kept asking this man why he wouldn't try having a child with another woman. And this is what he said. That he doesn't love another woman. Why are you telling me about this children and the couple? Because his love is what I consider timeless and unconditional. I have to do something. Hey. You trying to escape? The next I call, I got prepared. Then I left them with Grandma. That is why they're angry at you, Mom. Not just that. I didn't go back to pick them up. And when they came to see me, I told them to go back to Grandma. Do you hate them? No. I was just selfish and irresponsible. And now they may never want to see me again. I'm sorry, Mom. That's okay, sweetheart. Hello? Hello? You're calling me? Yes. I want to talk to Zane. 
Really? Is she close by? Say, Valerie wants to speak with you. Hello. Hello, Zane. How are you? My name is Valerie. Hi, Auntie Valerie. Did your mommy tell you about me? Yes, you and Auntie Amanda. Ah. Uh, it's really nice hearing your voice. Would you like to meet us? Yes, I would like that very much. Okay. Um, give your mom the phone. I can't wait to see you. Hello? Bring her to us tomorrow. I, I can. I will. I, I would also like us. Bye. Robert just left. And he looks so good. I think it's bad network. Yes. Oh. <sighs> What is going on with you? I just spoke to Zane. You agreed I could call. But I didn't know it was this fast. I had to so they know if they're trying to abandon her that she has us. And they're bringing her tomorrow. I already told you that they will not abandon her. They don't have any reason to. Really? But they have the heart to abandon us. It's fine, we will see her. Of course we will see her. I can't wait to see you later, Zane. <laughs> Why are you like this? Stop being a party pooper. Do you think it's them? Um, let me get the door and find out. Hello. Hi, Zane. <laughs> You're welcome. Zane, it's so good to see you. I'm Valerie, and that's my sister, Amanda. Say hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's go. Let's sit. You're welcome. It's nice finally meeting you. Uh, hello, Val. Amanda. Hello. Your hair is really nice. It's good to finally meet yes. you. <laughs> I was thinking this meeting is for Zane. We are not ready. Let's show you some. Oh, I'll, I'll get okay, it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amanda, how are you doing? Thank you. Wifey! I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. Must I tell my wife before I come to see her? <laughs> it was a... Can we? Hey, uh, good day, ma. Good day. You called my daughter your wife. And what do you think you're doing? Uh, babe. How dare you? Babe. Can you Babe. Wait, hold on. Oh, let me open it. I'm sorry. Hey. Robert. I told you I was going to come back to see you. Bro. Hey, bro. Yeah, hey. Hi. This is Amanda's mother. Oh, ma, uh, good evening. Good evening. she did was very wrong. Robert just walked in and Hank mentioned that she's our mother. And 
who wants us to tell them everything? Can they handle it? I think it's time we find out if they're truly the right men for us. If they can't love us knowing the truth about our lives, then we let them go. You're angry. But that doesn't mean I'm not saying the truth. I've been taking this for a while now, so I don't get pregnant when I get married. What? Yes. Yes. But I think I... I have to tell Hugs. He needs to know everything. And you need to talk to Robert too. You have to. Immediately. You have to. Please get me, Hanks. I need to talk to him. Really, your mother? Yes. But you told me that you cut ties with your mother so many years ago. You don't know where she is. She found us. And you don't seem like you're happy about it. Of course, we are not. We just wanted to see our little sister. Wait, that is your sister? Yes. <sighs> Robert, I broke up with you because I was, I was trying to protect you. Protect me? Yes. From what? I don't want to have children. I don't want kids. Why? When my mom left us, we suffered. We suffered a lot. We had to sleep around just, just to survive. We even got abused at some point. And so we decided to try so hard to be comfortable. And when we did, we we but decided that we do not want kids or even talk about our experiences. But falling in love with you and you wanting kids. It just brings back the memory. It feels like I'm reliving it. Is that why you... you wanted to push me away? Yes. But you're not your mother. And your father dying doesn't mean I'm going to die. You never know. When my dad was alive, we were the happiest kids. We were so happy. Still, you are not your mother. 
Okay. If your mother left you because of her naivety, you can never be naive. Come on, look at you. Look at the woman that you've become. All that you've gone through, you survived it. Look at you. Look at what you've achieved. I am proud of you. And I'm really sorry for all that you've been through. I don't care what and what you did to survive. What matters to me is that you've made something out of life. Something good. And this was years ago. Years ago. I'm used to Amanda snapping. But not you. Not you. All of this has been weighing me down for days now. Why didn't you talk to me? Why? Why would you be taking these pills? Why? It was, it was a very difficult conversation to have. I couldn't tell you. You will stop taking these pills. Okay? You have to stop taking them. Who knows what it might have done to you? It's it's not bad. I my my colleague takes them. So long as it was not recommended by a doctor, V, it's not good for your health. It is not. We are having kids. We are going to have kids. Okay? We will because you. You are a beautiful soul. And I know you will love my children as much as I will. <laughs> this is your fear, baby. This is your fear we never. It will never be our reality. I swear. It. Nothing will happen to me. Nothing will happen to you, okay? Even if we die. Belinda, Amanda, my mom. The whole family, they will take care of our kids. <laughs> they will. I'm, I'm not going to force you to forgive your mother because I know things like this will take time. But I need you to know that what happens to you and Amanda will never to our children because I love you. <laughs> you are beautiful, you are amazing. Baby, you are phenomenal. <laughs> I don't want to have a family with you, please. Okay? Introducing myself to your partner. I had no right. Please forgive me. I understand how you both feel. But please allow me to say a few things. I married your father when I was very young. He gave me the world. He pampered me. 
So when your father died, I panicked. I was, I was so scared. How was I going to survive on my own? Then I met my husband. And he said he was not comfortable taking care of kids who weren't his own. So I turned to my mother to raise you both. That easily? As parents, you are supposed to take care of your kids until they get to the age of capability. We didn't ask to be born and we didn't deserve to be discarded. I should have insisted that if he loved me, he would also love my children. But I was weak. I was selfish. I didn't fight for you. And I will spend the rest of my life trying to right this wrong. Now I know that every action has consequences. I can't even imagine what you two must have gone through. You did not bother come looking for us. But we came looking for you and you still threw us out. I came. I came for you. I came for you up to seven times after you came to see me. But my mother was angry. She wouldn't let me see you. She wouldn't tell me where you were. I came. The last time I, I came around, I cried so much, she, she had to tell me something. It's, it's okay. We'll find a way to talk with you from time to time. And we'll see how that goes. You say this is like it's like cold water on my soul. Thank you. I don't care how long it takes to to try to build a bond with you. I'm ready to put in the work. I don't, I'm just so happy hearing you talk to me, seeing you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Whenever you need to want to see Zane so I can bring her, she's very lucky to have big sisters like you. Zane? I'm sorry I got angry and walked out earlier. Come on. I'll see you again very soon. Come here. Take care. Bye, Zen. Bye, Zen.
I guess it's a lot to carry. It, it will take some time. True. True. So, Robert. Yeah. What are your plans for Amanda? Because in eight weeks, I'm taking my wife home. Shadows, hollows and cracks, hollows and cracks. These memories, they blur the present. Sometimes it's way up in my head And it's so hard to forget When there's wants to keep haunting me down I'm at the crossroads I'm at the crossroads I'm at the crossroads I'm at the crossroads Sometimes it's way up in my head And it's so hard to forget Oh, the won't skip haunting me down I'm at the crossroads 